Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the Bioderma Photoderm Max SPF 50 Plus Sunscreen. So yeah, let's get quickly started with today's video and also it will be very very short. So hope you enjoy this video. Now this comes at rupees 6.99. The price has been slashed and yes, I did go out and check out their Instagram post and because I was really doubting whether it's authentic or not. Yeah, in Amazon you have to buy it from the Bioderma store. I did get it from there and I have been using this for three weeks. Don't shake my shine. You could do me wrong. I'm gonna be alright cuz you, you could try to pull me back down. And obviously the packaging is just like other sunscreen brands it might get messy and might tend to get accumulated over here i have been using it very carefully because it's from bioderma it is a purely chemical sunscreen and i will show you the texture now this is how the texture is so as you can see let me just as you can see it does leave a white cast and you can clearly see a difference between these two now let me come back after some time and show you the difference. So this is how the difference is. It does give a dewy finish. It contains all chemical filters such as octocrylene, tenosorb M, avobenzone and tenosorb S. Avobenzone is stabilized using Tenosorb M and also octocrylene. And Tenosorb M and Tenosorb S are really really good chemical filters. Even though this sunscreen is a purely mineral sunscreen and it doesn't contain either zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, it does have a white cast, a slight bit of white cast and that is due to the presence of Tenosorb M. Tenosorb M is actually a suspension of white particles so that is why it gives that tint. It has SPF 50 plus and UVA 42 and this is the PPD method which they have followed and as you can see it is clearly written over there that it has been tested in vivo and yes they do test their product and they do test it over a rigorous period of time and that is what i really love about bioderma now this is how my face looked on the second day of application of the sunscreen and this is my bare face i had only the sunscreen on and my dark spots have been fading since then and it's been like three weeks and i can see an improvement and it does really protect you from the sun's rays a lot of problems but I could really high protection that is UVA 42 it really helps to reduce the sunspots if you're suffering from sunspots or like melasma I think you should definitely try out a sunscreen which is like highly tested and properly tested I think if you want to get rid of the adverse effects of photo aging I think you should really try out the sunscreen now for me personally I've been using it for almost two to three weeks I'm gonna be alright cuz if you are not used to chemical sunscreen, if you are just starting off, I would never recommend the sunscreen. But if you are a pro at sunscreen usage and if you have like tried and tested many such chemical sunscreens in the market, I think obviously you can go for this one. And this is for sensitive skin so it will suit all skin types. It has suited my skin very very well and I have been using it and it has helped me reduce the hyperpigmentation and now my face is very very like susceptible to hyperpigmentation whenever I get an acne I really end up getting a dark spot and that is how my skin is for someone like me dreams will come for free but I take my time it'll come and whenever you're exfoliating in your face especially I think you should really protect your face with this kind of sunscreen which has a very high SPF and a very high UVA protection. Well, it does sting the eyes and please avoid it around your eye area. Now on application, please do evenly spread across and apply and blend it well because it might just stick to your skin if you just leave it like that. 